Hello, and welcome to Solemn Rise Speaks, Episode 0, Terms and Conditions. This is going to be a boring video. Possibly the most exciting thing in the video is going to be my cats, who will probably wander through the frame off and on as they get a chance. Um, I'm going to talk a little bit about what I plan to do with this series. I'm not really going to talk about the content per se, um, other than to define some terms. As I said, terms and conditions. Uh, let's start with what I'm trying to do here. Solomon Rice Speaks is going to be a series of videos uh, about the art of being an old school game master. Uh, and so the first term I'm going to define is old school. I've done this in writing before. There's a lot of different ways of looking at an, being an old school game master, but the most important thing about an old school game is rule zero. Uh, the game master is always right. Uh, that doesn't mean what a lot of people think it means. It doesn't mean the Game Master is there to lord it over the players. Uh, it means that the Game Master defines the world. The Game Master defines the rules in use uh, and changes them if necessary. An old school game typically is brief relative to modern games. Um, it doesn't have to have a detailed rule for everything because it's understood that the game master will make rulings. This leads to a modern mantra, rulings not rules, meaning basically what I just said. Um, the old school game won't have as many rules, uh, won't have as much in writing uh, about how things work in the game or what the limits and capabilities are of any item or magic or science fiction feature if you're running a science fiction game, uh, but rather the Game Master will be expected to make reasonable rulings about these things that are appropriate to the uh, uh, adventure. Um, I'm going to talk more about what that really means in episode one. Uh, so I recommend if you're really wanting to, wanting to watch um, interesting content, this probably isn't the video for you. Uh, this video series is going to be about old school games. It's going to be about both the actual old games and um, some, a limited number of, uh, of modern retro clones um, and, uh, and OSR games. Of course, I'm probably going to focus heavily on my own games when I do uh, Iron Falcon. Uh, the Iron Falcon rules for classic fantasy role-playing, if you want the whole title, or the basic fantasy role-playing game. Uh, but there will be times when I'm really going to want to talk about the history of how we got here, and that means I'm going to be talking about other games relevant to the era, uh, specifically Dungeons & Dragons, um, the original edition, uh, and what they used to call the popular D&D, the BX and BECMI series and so forth, as well as advanced Dungeons & Dragons first, and maybe a little bit about second edition, but probably not much, mostly first edition. Um, Conditions. Um, the open game license says that a uh, author of a OS, of, of an OGL covered game, and that basically means most OSR games, because most OSR games are using the OGL for legal coverage, um, cannot talk about other games by name uh, or use other product identity or trademarks without. Uh, a separate agreement allowing that to happen. Now, as it happens, I do have a separate agreement with the authors of um, Swords and Wizardry, uh, Osric, Labyrinth Lord, with respect to discussing basic fantasy, and with the author authors of um, Delving Deeper with respect to discussions of Iron Falcon. Um, I will, once again, uh, thank Stuart Marshall, Matt Finch, Dan Proctor, Simon Bull, and Cameron De Beers, excuse me, Cameron De Beers, for agreeing to that. Uh, it has made things a lot easier. Um, but when I'm talking about those games, I can't really discuss anything else uh, in any kind of detail, and I'm going to try hard to avoid convoluted discussions where I refer to things by descriptions rather than names. I think most of the things, most of the situations where I'm going to want to talk about the old games, I'll be able to just stick to the old games. Uh, and stay away from anything OSR and thus not have to deal with it, but I'm hopeful that that's going to be the case. The primary purpose of this video is not to entertain anybody. 
It is to provide me a place to point a finger when somebody says, well, why don't you do this? Or what do you mean by that? Um, I haven't covered very much here. I realize now that I've started this that there's probably not an awful lot I need to say uh, other than, as I said, to define old school, um, to talk a little bit about where I'm going, and uh, of course to explain what the OGL has done to me in terms of trying to talk about games. Um, so, uh, I will sign off at this point. Uh, hopefully I'll, you all join me for episode one, uh, entitled uh, Railroads, Sandboxes, Rocket Launchers, and the Social Contract. Uh, hope to see you here again. Thanks.